as well, right? Steve? Transmitting and receiving elements of the other radar. So that we can collect continuous data while you're in the size of a briefcase. Essentially, yes. Weighs about uh, 20 pounds, maybe. Wow. So we have to aim that basically at the tornado, right? It's the fixed beam, yeah. so it's shooting in one direction. And uh, this year, for your show, we're going to have a vertical orientation. And with that bracket, we hope to have a horizontal as well. So you can drive up and pull up the side of the storm and Perfect. shoot out the sides. And wow. hopefully, we can incorporate maybe some more, uh, get more pan and type set up for next year to give you a little bit better capability. So Chris could actually control way, like where the antenna is aimed? Where you're looking, where you want to go, you can point the antenna in that same direction. Like that. Awesome. This radar, with a much lower power, with you getting right under the storm cell, you can measure the vertical profile, and theoretically that should have much higher wind speeds than even the horizontal winds that are measured. Eight degrees from the center. It's a circular beam with eight degrees by eight degrees in the horizontal and vertical axis reference to the plane of the antenna. Mm -hmm. So it radiates perpendicular to that surface and then it points straight up. So at eight degrees, you're gonna get 70 to 100 meter width in volume or width area scan at about uh, 500 to 1,000 meters in the air. So you're getting a large volume scan mm -hmm. so you can get a good return off of that and measure the velocity. Wow. Yes. The, the goal, I guess, would be to autonomously collect data at a period of time in range slices. So not only do we give you a maximum wind speed, but we tell you at what altitude that oh, wind gradient occurred. Got an entire solid state transceiver confined in this box. So this is actually these are the antennas right here. The antennas, I guess, are on the far side. You can see where the transceiver connects to the antennas through the box right here. Wow. Under this uh, heat sink and fan assembly is the solid state power amplifier. Mm -hmm. It needs to be separated from the other for heat reasons. You couldn't have done it without a vehicle such as this because you have to get close to use low power which would allow you to build a smaller radar. So the, the SRV is really, really paramount to, to doing this kind of experiment. Otherwise, we would require a much larger radar that was much higher cost that you yeah. wouldn't be as willing to sacrifice in the storm. Well, you want to win these guys? Cool. Let to go, man. Yeah. All right. That's all I need to do. Wow. You guys are dominating. Beautiful.